today we will take a program on sum of the digits in a given number program c program for sum of the digits in a given number so to begin with we will try to understand what is its logic so suppose our given number is this suppose our given number is this again equal to 170263 this is our given number it is a six digital number and what we want is the c program that will separate unit place tens place hundreds place thousands place ten thousands place lakhs place and so on and add them together to get some of the digits in a given number in this given number what are the digits 1 7 0 2 6 Three. These are the digits. We want to add them together to get nineteen. So, separating each digit from n means given number is the basic need here. And how to separate this number? How to? Because one seven zero two six three is a single number. It is one lakh seventy thousand two hundred sixty three. we can read it as 170263 it is not separately one it is not separately 7026 or 3 it is a number 170263 and for some of the digits we want to separate these digits how to separate it and that is very simple how simple let us see here steps to separate the digit and this is what very important to understand while writing our c program see given number is n 170263 if i divide by 10 and find the remainder i will get one number so for example in the first step x is equal to n percent 10 So divide n by ten and and find out the remainder. So it's very simple. If we divide n by ten, remainder will be three. That is units plus. So it is a remainder on dividing n by ten. It separates unit plus. So sum of the digits is equal to sum of the digits plus x. So you have added three. Now we have to revise n. How we will revise n? We will subtract that three. And divide by ten. See here, new my new revise n will be from original n. I will subtract x that is digit units place and divide by ten. So it is one lakh seventy thousand two hundred sixty three minus three divided by ten. It is one lakh seventy thousand two hundred sixty divided by ten. That gives me seventeen hundred twenty six. Seventeen thousand. Twenty-six. So again, we will repeat the same step to get unit plus six. So my number is size of the number is reduced. Earlier it was six digital, now it is five digital. So n percent t ten will give me six. Reminder on dividing n by ten. So it is separating in its unit plus. So sum of the digit will be sum of the digit plus x. Again, revise my n. It is n is equal to n minus x by ten, which is seventeen thousand twenty six minus six upon ten, which is seventeen thousand twenty divided by ten, which is one thousand seven hundred two. Now it is a four digital number. So we are going to repeat these steps again and again till n is equal to zero. Whenever your n will become zero, that means your number is zero. There is no point in further addition. So our process will continue till n greater than zero. So this is the logic we are going to use, and in this logic, we are going to use what is called as while do loop. You have learn about for loop. We have learn about do while loop. Now we'll. Study while do loop. 
okay so with this introduction we will go for actual interactive programming and for that purpose as usual i will ask asta doshi to share your turbo c screen asta doshi will share her turbo c screen okay so asta doshi have shared her turbo c screen and now we'll go for writing the program for sum of the digits in a given number so as usual define int int integer variable int now we have seen in the uh, earlier slides n is the your given number n comma x is your separating digital plus comma we want to find sum so write down sum yes u m yes u m semi comma so here n is your given number x is digital plus that you are going to separate and sum is sum of the digits in the given number CLR, yes, CR. CLR, yes, CR. Print F. Print F. Enter the number n. Enter the number n equal to backslash t. Give their backslash t. Double end to comma complete. Bracket complete. Semi comma. Scan F. Scan F. Percent. Yes. Yes. Comma and yun. Yes. And now we will. Uh, initialize sum by sum equal to zero. We will initialize sum by sum equal to zero. Yes. Now we will go for while loop. So write down while while in bracket n greater than zero. We have to repeat these steps till you are n n greater than zero. Bracket complete. Next line. And give curly bracket. Okay, x equal to x equal to n percent ten, n percent ten, semi comma. Sum equal to or sum plus sum plus equal to sum equal to sum plus x. Sum plus equal plus x. Semi comma. Semi comma. Yen equal to. Yen equal to in bracket. Bracket yen minus x. Yen minus x. Bracket complete divided by ten. Divided by ten. Divided by ten. Semi comma. Semi. -comma. Bracket complete, curly curly bracket complete, and write down there do. D O. You appropriate space. Curly bracket and do give the space. Yes. Enter. Enter. Okay, so this is the see you. I think these are the steps I have shown in your PPT, right? Write down print f, print f, sum of the digits in, sum of the digits in, sum of the digits in, percent d. Is 
परसेंट डी सेमी न्यूट डबल न्यूट कॉमा कॉमा यन कॉमा सम यन कॉमा सम ब्रैकेट कंप्लीट यस गेट सी एच गेट सी एच एंड क्लोज द ओपनिंग कर ली ब्रैकेट सो दिस इज द प्रोग्राम कंपाइल इट लेट अस सी इज देयर एनी एरर error is there let us see where is the error get ch a uh, do statement must have while do statement must have while see after do give semicomma after do give semicomma and compile it still error let us see where is that error do statement must have while okay do statement must have while that you uh, delete that semicomma after do After do delete that semicolon, and let me see 